Well, howdy, neighbor. Welcome to Boot Hill Heroes. I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion. I don't think that's a very convincing Old West voice. And I don't think I could keep it up if I, even if I wanted to. So welcome to a new series, Boot, 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 Boot Hill Heroes Part 1. I'm Mr. Gazillion, your host, and I'm playing this game because I've been wanting to play it for a very long time, and I've had it in my library, and now seems to be the time because I canceled Y2K, as you may have noticed, and I didn't really have a game to replace it with, and this just seemed to make sense. Boot Hill Heroes was developed a while ago, its inspirations were Earthbound, and it'll become very obvious as we get into the game. But without any further ado, let's jump in. But before I jump in, let's sync up. Let's do this. Oh, where are we? Lockhart? Doctors? That's a clothing store. Templeton! Mary. Templeton, you can't do this. You can't fight Coyote Saint alone. I have to, Mary. I'm the sheriff now, and this is my duty to protect the people. But what if something happens to you? Do you want our son to grow up without a father? If the Saint's little gang isn't stopped today, there might be not be a place for fit for our son to grow up. There's more at stake here than a band of outlaws. Oops, the people need to know they can live in a world where justice stands before crime, I guess, where honor prevails over, over atrocity. That's the future I want for our son. I just hope that someday he will understand what happened here today. Why do you talk like you know you aren't coming back? They're here. Oh God, the Saint Little Gang. Templeton Howe, I reckon you'd show up. You're a brave one, Sheriff, I'll give you that. Brave, but a fool. I don't know which one's talking right now, and it's, it's way too fast. I wish I had a bit more time to talk and read the read what's going on. So what do we have here? We have our little sheriff here, Temple. Oh, Howl. Templeton Howl, or Howl Templeton. Can't seem to go any further down. I will talk to our good wife, Mary. I can't. I can't fight your convictions. Uh, you. You will do what you must. But stand strong against Coy Coyote Saint. For Bronco County, for me, and for your son. I will do, Mary. I will do. So I have played this game a little bit um, in the past here. So I'm playing with my controller. I don't know what Vantage Info means. Uh, that's fine. Block, battle, normal, screen, full, game pack, control. I do not feel like quitting the game, so let's just keep going back in. I did not get that far in the game. The last sheriff who uh, was killed by Coyote and Scorpion Saint. Only you were brave enough to take up the badge. Even if you die here today, your name will live on forever. Yeah, it's gonna be, uh, I'm not that good at, the, at accents, so definitely not good with Old West accents. Some of the Downs people about, uh, heard about the duel and gathered here to watch. Show what you're made of, Howl. Yeah, and the other problem is this font's kind of hard to read, so I might stumble a little bit on my words. I know what you're thinking, Howl. We use the same strategy in war. Remove the head and the body will die. But I don't think you should uh, have agreed to let the rest of the Saint Little Gang go free. Even without Coyote, they'll regroup someday. Coyote's an incredible fighter, don't underestimate him. Dodge's Doom Trigger attack at all costs. Will do. Coyote Saint has a dark influence to those around him. Without you, I'd still be going down that dark road with him. I could never be forgiven for what I've done, but you gave me a chance to earn at least some redemption today. I'll remember you, Dean. You're an ally to the Templeton clan. Slippery slick, eh? You've shown me what even the most average person can rise up to protect his fellow man. Good luck to you, Sheriff. You're making a mistake, Hal. If if we all fight together, then then we can take down the Saint Little Gang. If you go at it alone, you'll you'll only get yourself killed in one on one duel. Ever since the Saint and the Little families joined up, all 
All, all the they ever do, uh, what they, they'll never do uh, wells have been coming out of their woodwork. I have no idea what I just read. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever have peace again. I can't believe they're here. Uh, the seven most ruthless, bloodthirsty killers and criminals there ever was assembled right here for a final showdown. I'm just squaking in my booties just looking at them. I sure feel for sorry for whoever got stuck being sheriff. The, the Saints' little gang are, are the demons of the West, and Coyote Saint is the devil himself. I'm praying for you, Templeton. But what chance does anyone have against such reckless evil? I don't know, but my hope's going down. Templeton Howell, you're just a farmer. What makes you think you can stand up to the Saints' little gang? After this shootout, I'm grabbing the kids and hightailing out of Bronco County. Oh, what's the point of having laws? Monsters like these are just going to ignore them. We may as well join them. That's true. Uh, we tried law and order and it didn't work. Maybe Coyote Saint is right and we should just let the strong say uh, what's what. Uh, do you think he'd let me join the gang? Uh, you don't want to join the gang or I might have to take you out. Going all in, eh? Wish I had a chance to place some bets on this fight. I'd give you 20 to 1 odds. Oh, Tuco Delgado, eh? I would enjoy seeing Coyote kill you, then leave your corpse here to rot in the sun while he loot this town for everything she has. Many times. Oh, sorry. Stampede Sally. Hmm, what kind of voice should I give you, Stampede? M Many have stood against us, but they'll have been flattened like a rat on railroad tracks. Can't wait to see Coyote make you eat that badge you hear so wear so proudly. Hmm, he doesn't talk. A blood red moon arose in the night sky. The cry of a dying wolf awoke the bison this morning. These are signs of your doom, Templeton Howl. You will not survive this day. Okay. This ain't too far from where Coyote and I killed the last sheriff. This time I'm g giving my brother the honor. All right, Saint. This is where it happens. Moses, I want you to take the, ki the others and hightail it out of here. I ain't leaving ya. What do you, what would Goldie say if I didn't stay to protect my little brother? Do it. I'm going to finish things here. You heard him. Move your hides. And they're out of here. They're scared. They're not convinced he's going to win. Oh, but Saint, he's going to, he's not going to go down without a fight. What do you say, Howl? Are you ready to end our little war once and for all? One good shot is all I need. Little duel. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at us. You think you're different than me just because you wear that badge? It doesn't change the fact that I'm, uh, in the end, we're just two men pointing guns at each other. We're all just animals fighting to survive. The rest of it is just empty words and foolish sentiment. You'll go to your grave for a meaningless cause, Howl. But before you die, you'll realize I was right. Uh-oh. What's gonna happen? Who's shooting? Oh, God. Who made it? Who made it? I don't remember. Did they both die? On that day, justice prevailed. Oh, I guess you did. The terror that had brutalized Bronco County ended with a final shot. Sheriff Templeton Howell lost his life. But the reign of the evil Saints Little Gang has fi was finally over. That W looks like an H and it throws me off every time. Percy Coyote Saint, the leader of the Saints Little Gang, was wounded. But survived the shootout. Ah, oh, so he didn't win. We didn't win. He was found guilty for his crimes and taken to Devil's Hold, the county prison. A dreadful fortress known as the most impenetrable place in the West. 
No one gets into Devil's Hold and no one gets out. The evil that plagued Bronco County was forever still in that prison. Until now. What? Wait, wait, no, maybe not. The few remaining members of the Saints Little Gang were never caught. But leaderless and few in number, they dispersed and went into hiding. They were never heard from again. And so, after months of fighting, peace finally settled in Bronco County. Lawlessness made way for civilized society. New businesses gave the county direction and prosperity. Good people could make decent lives for themselves. But history has a way of repeating. Uh-oh. And as long as the hearts of men still wander, evil always finds a way of returning. Bum bum bum! Ten years later. See, tell me that doesn't remind you of Earthbound. It definitely reminds me of Earthbound. Like I said, I played this game a little bit, didn't get too far into it. The American West sometime in the 19th century. In 18xx. Bronco County, near the town of Swellsville. Hmm. The Howell Family Farm. Yep, and here we are in bed, just like in Earthbound. Uh, let's wake up, shall we? Let's put on our cowboy gear. Can I do my homework? Okay, I don't know what the action key is, so I'm just pressing buttons randomly here. Listen to that music. So this game seems like a no-brainer for me. I love Earthbound, I love JRPGs, and I love Westerns, Spaghetti Westerns. I love the, lo the good, the bad, and the ugly. Last year's Farmer's Almanac. A portrait of Templeton Howell, our dad, that we never met. The door to mom's room is locked. Makes sense, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Do -do 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 -do. This music's kind of fun. I've uh, played enough of the game to get to a specific part where you get allies, but uh, I moved, and when the move, I kind of like did plug my laptop back in the TV. This old broom has defeated many dust buddies in its day. Oh, now we have a weapon. It's the broom. Let's equip it, shall we? There you go. Press me to go back. I will. Saints alive, darling. I thought you was going to lie a, a bed for a coon's age. I'm still fussing with the fixins. We'll have slap jacks and uh, ham doings ready soon. Last night I heard the most frightful ruckus in the barn. I was sus suspicion it to be them varmints up to no good with the hands again. So in the meanwhile, can you do a, your old woman proud and go fix them? Fetch us an egg while you're at it. All right, so our first mesh mission, let's go beat up some vermins. My superior sense of smell detected some invading vomits in the barn. Weaslers can be particularly difficult to find. Maybe they re try revisiting some rooms. Save? Yes, I will save. Uh, on a new save, I guess? Game saved. And I know there's some stuff you can pick up from the ground. I just don't remember what they all are. And some of them are f for stuff. <laughs> so specific, eh? Alright, let's see here. Do I have a running key? Doesn't seem to be a running key, which is fine. We don't necessarily need one. Let's go to the barn. It's about time we do our chores. I'm just gonna check right here. Why the... Oops, I didn't mean to go in there, but might as well. Oh, that looks like a barn. That looks like a hamster. But I'm gonna assume... Boom! Oh, look at that fire effect! A hungry varmint is here looking for a meal! Uh, press A, F to select actions and targets. Okay. So, as you can see, each ability has its own... Um, boom. Kid uses kick. 
So, each ability has effects. Like, Smash can do damage. Tackle can sometimes... Um, there we go. That vomit won't be bothering the chickens again. Kid gained five experience points. Yeah, so different abilities have all... Uh, each ability have their own uh, timer. Some abilities can interrupt. Some of them can make you dodge attacks. So sometimes they'll say something like, Oh, blah blah is raining an attack. Uh, so you can do dodge, which will do less damage or dodge. I, I don't totally remember how it works. But definitely, uh, you can dodge. So we're going to try and do... Press Y for information on your actions. Oh, there you go. So smash normal physical damage and weapons. Kick. Uh, kick weak physical damage and tackle. Heavy melee damage, 25% something else. Let's try and do that for the fun of it. There you go. Uh, I thought I could beat him. But that's fine. We did a lot of damage, as you can see. Um, I'm not really sure what I just did. I guess that was a smash, because I pressed twice. And that environment won't be bothering the chickens again. Kid gained 5 XP. Perfect. Seems like our health goes up after every battle. I'm a huge fan of that system. I didn't mean to go there. Oop, but there's an egg, I think. Is that an egg? Um, I guess not. But we're gonna fight the other vermin. A hungry vermin is here looking for a meal. That's fine with me. Press X to pause and or unpause the battle clock. Oh, okay, perfect. So as you can see, dodge, evasion, stance for chance to avoid physical attacks. Tackle, tackle, heavy melee damage, 25% stagger. So I think if you stagger them at a specific point, it can actually waste their whole turn. Weak attack, and normal physical damage with a head weapon, so I'm going to aim for the tackle. And I think the line shows the first attack they can do. So let's do a tackle, because I know I can. Oh, I, I, oh, you can ready an attack, so I can ready a smash if I want to. And he hits me, but I'm not too worried about dying right now. So, won't be bothering the chickens again. Oh, and we gained a level. Kid is now level two. HP increased by three, strength increased by two, dexterity increased by two, ruggedness increased by two, smarts increased by two, grit increased by two. Now that's some true grit right there. Uh, we found a trinket pluckers. Let's see, what is trinket pluckers? Is that an item that we can equip? Pluckers. Pluck useful materials from farm animals like chickens, sheep, pigs, and cows. All right, so let's equip that. Maybe that's what we need to... Uh, oh, there you go. We found a feather. I'm not gonna complain about that. Can we pick up a chicken now? Okay, how do I get take the egg? Okay, we found a feather. Found a feather. Okay, so we're taking feathers from all these chickens. But really, I just want this egg. I'll go up here. Doesn't seem to be anything up here. All right. Oh, another golden feather. Bee feather. Oh, and we can keep taking these feathers if we want to. Am I, like, farming? Can I sell these? And those eggs seem to be random. I feel like those are the eggs I need to pick up. I just need to figure out how to pick them up. We'll go down here, fight another one of these vomits. And of course, I'm going to start with a... Okay, press Y with the cursor on enemy to learn about them. Press Y. Tackle. Okay, so if I do that now... A small rodent that preys on chickens. Vantages, scratch, nibble, dodge. Okay. So I'm just going to do a tackle right away. And he do... He... <laughs> he... Let's try and cancel him. Nope, could not cancel him. So we'll just do a basic one here. Um, yeah, so this game still has uh, dodging in this game. So you can... Uh, that's really not what I want to do. But now there's two feathers. Ooh, why did that one go flashy all on me? All right, so let's see here. Materials, vantages, quip. Can I see what my quest is? I can't seem to pick up this egg, though. Can I pick up the egg, please? I have a feeling like the egg's gonna be on the floor or something. Anything here? Oh, there you go. That's what I wanted. And since, you know, while we're in the process of plucking chickens, 
Does she just want one egg or multiple eggs? Just in case, let's just go back up. Uh, we'll grab the golden one here. Since we're closer to the door down here, look, I just want another egg, okay? Or maybe I, there's only one egg to, there you go. Here's an egg. Now we have two eggs. So we can make ourselves a couple eggs for breakfast. Don't bother this chicken. Don't bother this chicken. How about we bother this chicken too? Might as well. And Ma, I got the eggs. I know there's uh, there's still one more varmint loose in that barn. They do like to hide. Make sure you check every inch of the loft, even if you already checked up there. Okay, so obviously I didn't kill all the varmints. So he's probably on the top in the loft, like she said, but uh, hidden in the hay or something. I'll just grab some of these while we're at it. White feather, another white feather, another white feather. I'm gonna be feather rich. All right, where is he? Come out, you damn dang varmint. Oh, wait, this is one of the, oh, hello. Ha ha! The Varmint King, the Weezer claims this barn for his kin. Uh, press start to open options and turn advantages info on. Uh, I don't have. I'm just gonna do, no, I'm gonna do a tackle. Oh, he's becoming, wait, 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 I'm gonna do a dodge first, yeah. So I dodged it, now we're gonna do one of these, there you go. Wow. Uh, did I seriously just do that? The Weasler submits defeat before your might. Clean sheep, no damage was taken. Nice. Double the experience and recover all health. Oh, kid gained 22 experience points. Nice. I got a pelt and I got a claw. And so I got an achievement. Um, and Steam called the Varmint King. So I guess you just get one for beating, beating him. Oh, it's getting dark already. It's kind of late for breakfast, Ma, don't you think? Heavens to horses, darling, you look a, a mess. Thank you for showing them critters what what for. Uh, dinner's ready, so please sit yourself down at the table now and have a bite. There's something your dear Ma wants to talk to you about. Okay, Mom, what you gotta say? Tell me. How you liking them omelets? Uh, uh, they're my favorite, Ma. Save your praise. It was uh, you who cleared those varmints out of the barn so I could fetch the eggs. Uh, well, I fetched the eggs, didn't I? Son, there's something I need to talk to you about. Uh, what's wrong, Mother? There's a letter? Well, you know things have been rough for us lately. If we don't do something soon, we're gonna lose the farm. What can I do, Mom? Your father always wanted you to be a simple farmer and live your life out peacefully where here in the country. In the country. But now I have to ask if you will take the job in town to help me pay the bills. Will you go to Swellsville and find some work there? If it'll help, Ma, I'll do it. Oh, I, I was hoping you'd refuse. I'm not ready to, for you to leave home just yet. But I should have known that you would do whatever it takes to help out your poor Ma. I want you to know I'm still proud of you and if your dad was still here, he would be too. Well, you best be running out to bed. You have a big day tomorrow. You'll need your rest if you're gonna make it into town. I'll be soon off in the morning. All right. So I guess that's uh, how this game starts. We're losing the farm. That's not good. The pills just keep piling up. Of course we can't sleep. Uh, all that tossing and turning. Well, let's see here. I want to go find that letter. We found a pelt there. Nice. Mom can't sleep either, it seems. Is that the letter? Where's the damn letter? How do you... That's not how. I feel like there's a bug where I can't quite use items. Can I go in her room? Last year's Farmer's Almanac. There's a pelt here. Nice. I didn't really want. The door to Ma's room is locked. 
Judge doesn't want anyone to come in during the night. Where's that damn letter? The hearth is cold, unused in the summer heat. Hmm. Da, 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 da. You can't sleep either, eh? Maybe for uh, maybe go for a walk. That always wears me out. Would you like to save? Yes, I would like to save on this one here. Game saved. Perfect. Da, da, da. So epic right now. Da, da, da. Wow, listen to that music. East, north is Boot Hill, east is, is Boot Hill. Well, we need to go to, uh, sorry, Boot Hill's north or whatever, and we gotta go to Swellsville this way. A feeling in your heart instinctively draws you north to Boot Hill. Alright. We'll go to Boot Hill. Who am I to argue with invisible plot walls? Alright. What's up here? Oh man, bright lights ahead. That must be Dad's grave. Templeton Howl, rip. Oh God, that's not lights, that's fire. Well, I mean fire, yeah, has light, sorry. But those are just the city lights. There's something going on here. Uh-oh. Am I uh owing for nothing? No, I'm pretty sure I'm uh owing for a good reason. The next morning. Ah, uh, man, they they lost a good opportunity to show the Boot Hill Hero logo there. Ah, oh, well, no biggie. Door to mom. Mom, why do you keep your door locked? Come on. I need to find some supplies for stuff. I want to read this letter. I, I feel like I should be able to read it. Because I was in options. Materials. Got a bunch of eggs and a bunch of freaking feathers. 28 feathers. Yeah, there's no screwing around there. Advantages. Those are the attacks. Yeah, you get new attacks that can equip. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, there's your ma. Good old ma. Well, son, I was hoping this day would not come for a few more years, but it's time to say goodbye to your poor ma. I've run into an old friend of yours, father's, Quentin H uh, Hayward, who runs stables up by way of Swellsville. He's agreed to get, uh, see you settled as a stable boy. Go see Mr. Hayward, and he'll tell you what to do. Now I want you to stay out of trouble, you hear? The world's a dangerous place, and city folk aren't like us farm folk. Be careful who you talk to, and don't go getting mixed up with the wrong crowd. All right, Ma, I won't. Oh, and I almost forgot. We can't have you running around Swellfield looking like a poor farm boy. You got to fit in with those city folk. I rag—I uh, racked together a few pennies and got you this fancy hat. Now, don't you be protesting. Let your poor Ma give this to you. Go ahead now, dear. Put it on. All right, let's put it on. Um, there you go. We got a Stetson. Stetson. There, now, don't you look like a proper gentleman. Your father used to say that the hat makes the man. It's a well-known fact of life that your behavior is affected by the kind of hat you wear. Don't be surprised if just by wearing the hat you start to find yourself learning new skills that will help you in your doings. Your father called such skills vantages because they give you a leg up in situations. You'll probably be learning all kinds of vantages in life. But you can only have four available at any time in battle. So remember to set them uh, from your menu first. Well, that's all I have for you. Go on to Swellsville and see the meeting Mr. Quentin Hayward at the library. Don't you worry about me. I know you'll work really hard to, uh, for Mr. Hayward, and, be, and he can afford to pay these pesky bills that the bank keeps on sending. But please, son, do come back and visit your poor old mother from, the, from time to time. If you ever get hurt, go out there. I'll be here to fix you up. Yeah, sorry, guys. My accent's all over the place. I'm not much of a voice actor. But... With that said, we'll talk to our good old buddy Rusty here. I'll keep an eye on you. Life gets confusing. Just come talk to me. I'll set you straight. So we will save and end this episode here. 
in the next episode we'll continue on towards swellsville get a job at the stables and put a stop to the saints little gang as always i'm your host mr gazillion thank you so much for watching liking subscribing and commenting let me know if you've ever heard of boot hill hero if you've played it and i will see you all next time bye